Woo. Let's not go too fast. This is so sick. <laughs> Okay. Riding A-Line on my Norco A-Line. How sick would that be? I think we all knew this was coming. Well, today we are making this a reality. First of all, I want to clarify a couple things. This is the blue 2008 Dream A-Line that I bought last year. Not to be confused with the super monster bike using the black 2005 Norco A-Line frame that I've been building up for the last couple months. It is just a coincidence that they're both A-line frames and have monsters on them, but this is just the regular Monster T with 190 millimeters of travel compared to the Super Monster with 300 millimeters. So they are pretty different. I just wanted to say this because I found people were honestly getting them confused. I'm thinking I will name this big Frankenbike the Boost Monster, while this blue one we can just call the A-line. Now the one problem I was having with this bike is just that the fork was set too soft and I was bottoming it out too much the last time I rode it. Oh, that was flat bottomed out so to stiffen it up we put in more oil 60 milliliters in each leg so before we put in 325 milliliters and now it's a total of 385 milliliters in each leg hopefully that'll make a difference but do you remember how i was looking for a bigger frame for this bike well i found one i had to buy the whole bike with it though i was curious to measure the reach of this old bike and the larger frame has about 367 millimeter reach while the smaller frame had about 344 millimeters this is definitely an improvement even though it's still a lot smaller than i might prefer the bigger bike also came with a stock triple eight fork that i would love to ride however it needed a rebuild since it was leaking oil on one side and i was really hoping to ride this at whistler but we couldn't get it done fast enough so I'll still be riding the Monster T on this bike for now. So here's hoping the extra oil we put in the Monster T will do the trick. We are swapping all the parts from the smaller frame onto the bigger frame because all the components were in better shape on the smaller bike. So then the bike is gonna feel exactly the same as before, but just a little bit longer. When we were pressing in the upper headset piece in the larger frame, it went in just a little too easily. That's like a sign of ovalization. Like yeah. Very minuscule. But that's, again, that's just a problem with these old frames, right? So, like, I don't feel anything physically. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason of, there's pressing tools, right? Because yeah. you're supposed to press it in, right? It's supposed to be tight and within the, yeah, the yeah, tolerance. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't become a problem. I'm not too worried about it, though. So we got the bike ready on time to take it to the Whistler bike park on one of the last sunny days that it was open. I was also riding my Maiden on this trip as well, but for a few runs, I took out the A-Line. Yeah, it's it's pretty solid to be honest. Like it's, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Now with the goal for today, obviously being to ride A-Line, I need to make sure I'm comfortable riding these big jumps on this thing. So let's warm up first. I think I'm just gonna do crank it up. I don't know, I just gotta figure this bike out. Yeah, definitely. The previous videos I made with this bike were on the North Shore. I only rode some smaller jumps, not quite what A-Line is like. My fear is that the heavy weight, especially on that front end, may become a problem. I soon found out I have nothing to worry about. Pretty stoked with the, uh, the bigger frame and everything. I put uh, 30 PSI in the rear wheel, put 28 PSI in the front so I can uh, maybe roll a little bit faster. We'll see how important that is. Woo! Yo! The flat pedal spots are not very fun. So far, the jumps are feeling fine. Feels pretty intuitive, as you'd expect it should feel. Do some joyride jump parks. Whoa! Did not bottom the fork out, that's good. It's just heavy, but that's okay. Okay, it's working pretty good, to be honest. Or I buzzed the seat that time, didn't I? 
I could shift the seat forward more. <sighs> I'm not bottoming the fork out. That's good news. Yo. It's working out. Oh. Freaking send it. Yeah, I can uh, really tell how much heavier this bike is. It's like 11 pounds heavier than my Maiden. Ooh. Definitely harder to give style in midair. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with how that run went. I'm feeling really good for hitting up A-Line now. So I met up with my friends and now we're gonna hit up the most famous jump trail in the world that this bike is named after. To be honest, I was originally thinking of doing even more warm-up runs before hitting A-Line, just to make sure I don't get in over my head, but we were also running out of time to make sure we got in our A-Line lap, and frankly, I'm not even nervous for this anymore, like I was earlier in the day. A-Line jumps are really well built, and you know, the spike is feeling great. I'll go third, why don't you two go in front of me? All right, let's do it up. Nice. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> that was so sick. That was freaking mint. Yeah. How was it? Freaking so sick. It's just like, I'm just kind of awkward in the air. Like I just kind of did like a <laughs> it's, it's cool. Let's freaking send it. Oh, I'm so glad this bike is like so sick. Let's go for it. This is so sick! <laughs> Can't quite go as fast as them though, you can tell they're uh Gaining ground on me. Whoops. There we go. That was so sick. That was legit. I couldn't keep up with you guys though. Like you guys are getting ground, but that's okay. Like the jumps are feeling perfect. Yeah. I even did the bigger tombstone line. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can bottom out. I wasn't. Woo!
dude, I'm not bottoming out at all. It's so sick. Yeah. Spike is a bit of a workout. Yo, <laughs> dude, it's so sick. Yeah. But like my seals are kind of moist. You can tell they're kind of wet. Yeah. So, I don't know, whatever. It's uh, it is more of a workout for my hands. Yeah. Send it, bros. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yo. Oh my goodness. Dude. That was so sick. I went to look back on the tech and I was like, oh. Okay. I'm right behind you, dude. Yeah, I followed you guys pretty well through that. I cleared everything like stoked. We still got more time in the day to do at least one more run. So let's take advantage of this. I'm having so much fun on this bike. Let's see what else we can do. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. What's going on with my bike? Yo, buddy. Yo, 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 yo. Here, I'll, let me grab it, let me grab it. Uh, 50 pounds. Jonas <sighs> playing other fights. Like, my I don't goodness. Want my bike is uh, too hard, too much to handle. I'm gonna take a tad bit of air pressure out. So I wanted to do some tech, so I'm gonna start with the Angry Pirate. More flowy actually, but uh, but I just want to try some more tighter trails and then I'm gonna go into Afternoon Delight, which gets a bit more techy, but pretty sick though. Let's try it out. <laughs> Those corners are always just a little awkward. Oh shit. <laughs> Getting a little rowdy. Oh. Yeah, some of those corners are where the uh, the short bike is not a bad thing at all. Because man, some of those corners are tight. Actually works really well. 26 inch wheels, small bike.
And then I found some familiar faces. Yo, Eric and Yuka. Oh, hello. How's it going, bro? How are you? Riding the A-line. Did you just do crap? No, I just did Angry Pirate. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna do some tech. I want to do Samurai Pete's Guy and do Afternoon Delight. They were gonna go to Clown Shoes, which is a really great double black tech run, and they invited me along. So I thought, okay, that actually sounds really good too. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> it's the last lap. So yeah, yeah. All right. I'll follow you. All right. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do uh, some clown shoes. Clown shoes will be a great test for this bike because it's double black tech and there's a big drop to finish it off. Perfect to test out the fork. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay, my front wheel was uh, a little bit of front wheel sliding. I think that's the um, the heavy fork. Front wheel slides a little bit. I used a good bit of travel there. It was almost sort of feeling like I bottomed the fork out, but I don't know. You can crack some slab. Oh no. Okay. Oh, at the beginning slab. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I was feeling my front wheel slide a couple times. Yeah. I think it's that weight. It does make my front wheel want to slide a little. Yeah, just more momentum, I guess. Yeah. yeah. This drop, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go too fast on it. No, I don't wanna go nuts. <laughs> All right. All right. So good. Let's not go too fast. Yo, that was sick. Right on. Nice. I felt smooth. There's just this one hole on that berm. It felt like I bottomed out on it both times, even though that O-ring doesn't show it. So that's a little confusing. That was sick. Cool. I definitely carry more speed though. Yeah. Just cause it's uh... Yeah, you know, cause I was riding A-line behind my friends. Yeah. They go faster than me on this yeah, bike. Yeah. yeah, so. I am so happy with how that went. The bike feels better than ever. The bigger frame size. The fork ramps up so much more so that I don't bottom it out anymore. And I could send all of A-Line on the Dream 2008 Norco A-Line. I've always wanted to do that. But now since that ride has happened, I have gotten that 888 rebuilt. It's working properly now. So I'm really interested in putting this fork onto the A-Line since this is what originally came on the bike. But I'm definitely keeping that Monster T. It's in such good shape. I'll find some use for it. Otherwise, I'm sure you guys can understand, I'm way more focused on this whole Boost Monster bike project. I've already changed and upgraded a lot more on the bike, and it's riding a lot better than before. However, it's the rear suspension that's been bugging me the most about this. There's not as many options for this bike as there are with many other bikes, and I need to make it stiffer. It bottoms out a little too easily. 
just so you guys are aware, the weather has been pretty terrible out here. I've barely been able to ride in the last month. Hopefully it won't have to take too long before I can reveal the final version of this bike. But otherwise, I still did some more Whistler riding on my other bikes. And I got a couple more videos of that too. Make sure you guys subscribe, stay tuned. I got more awesome content on the way. Big shout out to my patrons. They're amazing sponsors of my channel. If you want to support what I'm doing, please go check out my Patreon page. You get some extra bonus perks like extended cut videos, early videos, some bonus content, name in the credits and things like that. Thanks everyone. See you guys next time.